Hello, well I've installed the Shodley modified H50 into the system and I've got a temperature drop of 2 centigrade which isn't sort of mind blowing but when you're overclocking it every little helps uh, well there it is rather dodgily installed there uh, I'm not going to overclock it yet due to them the way I've joined them pipes there the 6mm to the 8mm uh, that's extremely shoddy uh, yeah but uh, what I think is it doesn't seem to matter how much water there is to an extent because there's only a two degree drop in temperature and there's a lot more water there to what you would normally have without any mod on the H50 uh, the best thing is that I've only got the pump running at 800 revolutions per minute and it's defaults 1400 so it's slightly quieter not that you can really hear it much anyway but obviously there'd be a longer pump life uh, I would say it's definitely worth doing if you like these sort of pipes and things uh, especially when I get the UV lights onto it and it all lights up better but, uh, on my system, as I say, it's only dropped the temperatures to centigrade. But that helps because uh, when I had it overclocked to just over 4 gig, it was really, a lot of the time, it was, it was touching 62C under load, which is the maximum. So that would now, although I haven't tested it, put it down to 60, or even maybe a bit below, because it could actually perform better than the standard pump with the reservoir on if you get my drift it could uh, it could actually work a bit better under a stress situation so I can't wait for the proper connectors to come and then I can give that a try and post up a new vid with the results okay then cheers